Hello and welcome back. Getting started on the second portion of the basic Windows XP configuration videos that I would like to show you. Uh, the next topic I want to cover is a little bit about virtual memory. Uh, to get to the virtual memory settings, it's the same as the previous video. You right click on my computer either on the desktop or under the start menu and select properties. When the system properties window comes up, go ahead and click on the advanced tab. And then under performance, again click on the settings button. And under performance options, go ahead and click on the advanced tab inside of there. And at the bottom you'll see virtual memory. Now just a quick word about virtual memory. What virtual memory does is it actually adds on to the physical memory that's inside, inside of your computer. Say for example you have one gig of memory. Well what virtual memory does is it kind of shaves off a little end of the hard drive and adds that to the virtual or the physical memory so that you can have more so that the operating system can actually take part of the hard drive store stuff in there as memory and then uh, and so you have more room to operate so for example it's kind of like um, like a playground the bigger the playground the more kids the kids being the processes can run around and play inside of that playground now say you have one gig of memory and that's a one acre playground well adding some virtual memory you can actually have like a 1.5 acre playground so that you can have uh, so the operating system Windows XP can have more processes going on at the same time now it's to change these settings you want to have Windows XP manage the virtual memory for you there's no reason why you should have uh, a set virtual memory size because you never know you might not have enough free space uh, you might have a, a lot of free space that way Windows XP can make it bigger for you now go ahead and click on the change button under virtual memory and as you can see I already have mine set as a system managed size now when you come in here they might have a custom size where it could be set automatically uh, anywhere from two megabytes all the way up to the maximum size which I believe I think it can be uh, 1500 megabytes which is like a one and a half gigs otherwise you can have no paging file which means you're not even use, utilizing virtual memory um, I wouldn't recommend that because you, you're going to want to use virtual memory it, all it does is, is giving you more performance out of your computer so if you select system manage size if you click on set um, mine's already set but yours should warn you that you're going to need to restart in order for these settings to take effect so then go ahead and click OK after that and here's that warning and you go ahead and click apply and OK. And when you click, click OK here, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to rest or you need to restart in order for these settings to take effect? You can go ahead and click no or yes and restart the computer. And that's what I have about virtual memory.